Got a good start to the week, had some breakfast, did some work, and started a new loaf of sourdough. After working on it all morning, I finally figured out the thing I needed to, so I'm feeling good about that. I'm gonna go out for a walk, and I'm actually going swimming today at the aquatic center. Swimming at Miranda's house on Saturday really like got me into a swimming mood, so I'm gonna go out and do that today. So I biked over to the aquatic center, and I was kind of nervous, but it ended up being so much fun. I say a very big success. Then I got home and had some meetings. Then me, Molly, and my dad went on a bike ride, and of course we had pizza, and Molly hung out in my room. <laughs> Molly left and I'm done dinner. I'm feeling ready to sleep and to rest in my bed. I actually did a lot today. Like I went swimming, I did, got a lot of work done and obviously the bike ride. So it feels very accomplishing. I'm just ready to rest though. It's having such a bad allergy flare up on Tuesday. Still got a lot of work done, which was nice. And then me and Molly went on a walk together cause she came over to pick up her bread. It was super pretty. We went to the Rose Garden. I actually hadn't been there. Saw a lot of nature, which was nice. And then got home, pulled out the bread and then I led my lab, which I thought went pretty well. And the bread turned out really amazing. It was delicious. And then I spent the evening working for a bit. So I'm just having a less than favorable afternoon because i was supposed to meet george and i'm still meeting him but we're supposed to get to meet but i'm just having issues with some stuff at work and i think i have to have a meeting in the evening now after my dinner so i'm just annoyed at myself because i don't know why my shit isn't working anyway i am looking forward to the dinner yeah tomorrow's gonna be stressful it was so good to see george again we had a nice dinner together he got me these beautiful earrings i'm so appreciative of them and then i got home and did some more work didn't end up having a meeting so i got to relax a little bit as well i've been working for a couple hours now and i have to go to my therapy appointment Ugh. Work is just stressful today. I'm supposed to present. I don't even know if it's gonna happen. I just feel annoyed. Just wish I didn't have to like leave my desk right now, but maybe it's a good thing to just get away for a second. So I biked out to my therapy session and that went fine. Got home, had some fruit and did work and I had a couple meetings. One I had in the evening ended up being two hours because we were just really going out debugging a specific problem in the code, but we figured it out. Had dinner at my grandparents' house and it was so delicious, which is not surprising. My grandmother always makes the most amazing food. I was super hungry for it. In the evening, I got to relax because I had had a really long day. Belly is full with a bunch of good food. Just watched the latest Handmaid's Tale episode. Feeling good. I had such a long day today. It was honestly so exhausting, but you know what? It's over. That's what matters. Tomorrow, I have to go out to camp. Well, not to camp. Tomorrow I'm working for camp and I'm going to Delta. Honestly, that's pretty easy now that I've like done it. I expect that to go well. And then in the afternoon, me, Nicole Turner and Nicole's boyfriend are gonna go on a double date at the eatery, which I am super excited about. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. I worked out and then I got ready to go to camp. Commute is honestly really easy and it's nice to just like be able to relax. And it started raining when we got there, but then it stopped by the time we started leading activities. So we had a really great day. Then me and Turner went to my house and yeah, it was okay. We bust out to see Nicole and Arthur at the eatery. So exciting. Neither Arthur nor Turner had ever been. Both me and Nicole got those like three ounce mojitos, obviously, and the sushi was really good. I had a super great night. I wasn't gonna come home before Georgia, so I did my hair in the morning. Turner's driving me to work, which is really nice. I just like fucking lost my keys. Uh, no, they're in the house tomorrow. I just didn't have time to find them in the morning. I'm just really fucking frustrated about it. I have a spare set of keys. Like, it really shouldn't be a big deal, but I'm just so annoyed. <sighs> Trying to stay calm. <laughs> I was able to calm down and I got to work and I just have to say that I really enjoyed working with the staff for these mobile ads. It was so nice getting to know like Jenna and Rachel and Amy. It was so good and Jenna gave me a ride to Coquitlam which was so nice of her and we got to Georgia's. Oh, that is like beautiful. Nobody touch it. <laughs> Predictable for me to say this but it was such a beautiful board. I was just 
watching your vlog the other day with her birthday last year and I was coughing it. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even see that in real life, so I'm glad I caught it on camera. That went like way over there. That was like, holy fuck. I've never actually gone that far before. This is a proper way to do it. Best friends. Besties. Best friend vibes. Bestie vibes only. I had to get you a crack in Zach. Thank you. Am I sitting here? I'm actually gonna be offended if he doesn't take <laughs> my yeah. like, yeah. Oh, good, I think it's good. I think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Where are you? I'm definitely like camping up my. You're on the car, in the car, on the way there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you're on the handle is like your Happy birthday surprise for the other two fellow birthday people. Gemini! I literally just walked in and I'm just like, well, she could use this. <laughs> no, you lied to me. You're not the main character. Come on, Rory. I'm just recording until Rory's. I think it's Dilla Rory's. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Hey, Saffron, what the fuck is this? I'm embarrassing it. What the fuck is what? You didn't know Rory's character. He's not drinking how he should be. Suffering? More like character. He's a nurturer more. Did you know? I've already picked up water in the mouth. Oh, it's time for me to be the main character in the vlog again. Oh, it's finally. My it's my time to uh, shine. Time like, you need to film my confession on the vlog. I can't take it. Hey there, guys. It's day 3037 on being the main character of this show. He's just so far and, beyond you know, my I feel like When we speak about Rory, it's, it's about superiority. He just said it. You can't spell superiority without Rory. It's not about how much gold there is, it's about how much cups of gold we provide them. Right. <laughs> it's not about how far you can push, it's about how much further you can push yourself. It's not about what you can do, it's about, it's about the team. It's about what you will it's do that will bring you. I totally agree. Oh my God. This is gonna make such good vlog material, Saffron. It's you know your know birthday, you're protected. You know it's a birthday. Yeah, he has that protection. You can tell though, it's been hot since... Hey, yo. Bust out with Rory, Nicole, and Arthur and made it home all right. It was actually pretty easy. Got back from Georgia's and I had such a phenomenal time. It was really nice to see everybody. And Georgia made the most beautiful board as you saw. I am just super happy to have been able to do that for the second year in a row to be able to spend Zach and Georgia's birthday with them. That was so awesome and tomorrow uh we're going to celebrate silk's birthday which is super exciting it's been a long day i've been up since 5 a.m and it is now 2 a.m we have been awake for 21 hours so not ideal but it's okay um tomorrow i'm waking up a little bit early to go get my eyelashes done so i'll be pretty okay i know i'm not but i'll, I'll feel like really good about that once that's done See you tomorrow. Got a solid three hours of sleep before going to get my eyelashes done. Okay, so I just got the lashes done and I'm super happy with them. It's gonna be nice to just like not do mascara for a little bit, but it took a while. I was on the table for like a little over two hours. So feel good to be like walking again. I'm gonna sketch right home. I still have to get a component of Silk's birthday present on the way home, but other than that, I'm just gonna go to my grandparents for lunch. After getting some of the stuff for Silk, I went to my grandparents for no, lunch no, no. and got to spend Hi. some time with them. 
I took a nap there and just relaxed. It was so nice to be able to spend some time there. Then I got home and had some snacks and edited the vlog for a bit. I got ready and went out to meet up with Silk and everybody for her birthday. You look so pretty. We first went to 33 Acres and I had been once with my co-workers from BC Cancer but I hadn't been back in a while. Me and Silk got ciders, Ruth got a cocktail, Angie got a stout. After 33 acres, we decided to walk over to this pizza place. It was so good. I am blanking on the name. Oh, R&B Brewing. Well, they told us it would be a 40 minute wait and it ended up only being like five minutes. So we got really lucky and we got to sit outside. It was so good. There was also this little puppy in a Whole Foods cart. So cute. This place, we all ordered the same beer, except for Silk, she got a London Fog one and the pizzas were the perfect size. It was really tasty. In typical hangout fashion, we all went to get ice cream afterwards and I got the rhubarb crumble and then we just kind of sat near the waterfront and relaxed together okay so I made it back home just in time to miss the rain which is nice and I had a really good time I'm tired though I didn't get very much sleep last night and I did have a nap today but it's still been a really long day and for tomorrow I am gonna do some work I thought I had planned oh no I no 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 I'm also thinking of going to dinner with Isa, Emma, and Chia. Should be fun. It feels nice to be at home and get to lie down and be rested. I had a super relaxing morning. I just stayed in bed and then did some work. So I've been doing work and I've also kind of been planning for Penticton, which has been fun. Unfortunately, I am getting like a really bad headache right now and it's annoying, but I think what I should do is to try and take a nap for a bit <laughs> to sleep it off or whatever ended up just eating toast and then working out instead after that i went grocery shopping to get some food for the week and that was nice and got home and worked some more i am just going to meet emma and gia gia got here a little early so me and her are going to wait outside the restaurant together i'm super excited ever since i went with turner i've been waiting to take gia emma and isa to go unfortunately isa couldn't join us but she'll come next time and we loved everything there it was honestly so good unfortunately i spilled sangria on my pants but hopefully it'll come out and we got the pesto pasta and gnocchi for cheese so yeah, good we also got a lavender creme it brulee yeah. it was honestly one of the best creme brulees or desserts i've ever had it was so good Afterwards, we had a little bit of a photo shoot, it's very cute, and then I got home and did some work. I had to do a little bit of work once I got home, but I think I have kind of everything ready and set up for tomorrow morning. I'm really sleepy, so I'm excited to just edit the vlog and get it posted so I can go to bed and start next week. I love this time of year. There's just a lot of celebrations. I would like to say the weather's getting better, but it really isn't as of late but it's gonna but it's supposed to be better next week so um we're celebrating miranda's birthday next week don't have any more shifts with sas Matt for a little bit which is really nice i can just focus on my other two jobs that's that's what's going on with me i am in like a really good mood and i plan a bunch of stuff for penticton today so i'm feeling like even more excited about that trip it's gonna be a really good time to be able to go up with everybody and my grandparents get their second vaccine on tuesday there's just a lot to look forward to i feel happy about that that's all i have to say thank you for watching and i'll see you next week